Please notice that the firefighter is putting on her turnout jacket, helmet, gloves, and self-contained breathing apparatus, minus the regulator and face piece, for this and every event. When the command, ready, set, go, is heard, she will cross the starting line and pick up the hose pack from either the left or the right side, continue up the stairway all the way to the cross the finish line. She's going to lift the 47-pound fire extinguisher hose or other equipment to a height equal to the roof of a two-story building. Her hands are in an inward palm facing direction with her thumbs pointing down. She will pull on the rope hand over hand until the weight is hauled over the top of the railing and placed on the landing. At the command, ready, set, go, she will cross the starting line and run 10 feet to the fence, get over the fence without using any of the side supports, and then cross over the finish line. This event simulates the behavior required to scale a four foot high fence or a barrier wall, such as may be required during fire or rescue operations. At the command, ready, set, go, you will advance the charged hose line down the marked 75 foot long corridor until both you and the nozzle completely cross the finish line. Ready, set, go. This event simulates jumping a ditch, dragging a charged fire hose into a burning building through a restricted crawl space and then removing a dead weight object such as an unconscious child from the area. You must advance both the hose and you between the duct tape lines at all time. Place the, the hose and you beyond the finish line and that is clearly marked and grasp the handle of the 75 pound dead weight. For this event, you may also want to wear knee pads or pants or some kind of protective covering over your knees. Grasp the ladder by the rungs, remove the ladder from the mounting bracket, lower it to the ground, and lean it against the stand. She may not pause on her lift for more than five seconds as counted by the proctor or will be automatically disqualified. She will be allowed only one attempt to qualify in this and every event and must follow all the instructions or default on that attempt. If she stops or pauses for five seconds or longer as counted by the proctor, she will be automatically disqualified and not able to proceed in any of the events.